We've got a vine here that we have rooted using the two liter bottle method uh, or air layering method. And what I want to do now is kind of talk a little bit about what we're going to do with this vine from this point. Uh, the first thing we want to do is actually separate the vine from its mother. So I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to cut it using my cutters. I also have my two liter bottle tied up to my wire. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to lay my pruners down. And what I want to do now is, if you follow me down here, we have a little pot. And I'm going to take this plant and I'm going to pot it in this little black pot. So I'm going to dump the dirt out, being careful not to, not to hurt the plant. And I'll bring the bottle right off of the top. Just like that. And there we have it. We have a plant that is rooted. And when it gets along in April here in the uh, southeastern, southeastern North Carolina, we're actually going to take this plant. I'm going to carry it out to the vineyard to a place that we have, uh, or we're needing a plant, and we're going to plant it. Uh, but that's how you do a two liter uh, air layering system on rooting plants. Uh, we've rooted it uh, by placing the pot on uh, sometime in July, late June, July, and it is now over in December. And we are uh, taking it off the vine and we're going to put it in this pot. Now, if we're going to keep it in this pot, uh, what we will want to do is uh, to actually come out here and dig a hole and set the pot down in the ground level with the top of the ground, and that'll keep the roots from freezing during the winter. If you leave the pot on top of the ground, you may have some issue during the winter with the pot actually, uh, the, the roots freezing in here and it could kill the vine. Uh, one thing I would not recommend is to carry this and put it in a greenhouse. You want to leave it outside, let the plant realize that it is dormant, and in the springtime along about April when it starts, uh, everything starts greening up, we're going to go out and plant this in our vineyard. One thing to always remember when you pot uh, plants like this is to label them. Now what I've got is a, a little strip here that you can get from nurseries. Uh, you could use anything, a piece of tape. Uh, but I'm simply going to place it around the plant. Uh, this particular vine uh, is a Carlos vine, and it says Carlos right here on the sticker. Uh, but that just lets me know that's what that plant is. You always want to make sure you remember what you've rooted. Uh, if I didn't label this and I had four or five, they'd easily get mixed up. And that's simply how you air layer a muscadine grape plant. <laughs>